customer base and working with them, right? So you either give them a percentage of the sale or you get together and you do a podcast swap, or maybe you go and per, or they promote your product in their email list or what have you, and you just give them a percentage. And the beautiful thing about that is that you never have to fork any money out of pocket until you've made the sale, right? So it's you, it's instant profit. And for me, you know, running Facebook ads and doing those different things, you know, having my experience in that, I know that they're worth it and that they work, but it also, the conversion rates get way higher when you partner up with somebody else because the people trust the person who they're following. So if I partner with somebody who has a million people following them and they've got a very active audience, I can come in front of them, make my sales pitch, and I'll probably close 10 to 14 times more than I would through a Facebook ad because these people already trust the person that I'm talking with. And that's the huge value that I, I recommend to everybody is that even if you're just starting out, you don't need to have a single penny to start a business. It's just a matter of going out there and meeting these people with audiences and providing a value to them. Well, and that's the wonder of it, right? It's that, um, you know, I think about ads, um, when you nail an ad and you've got it performing for you, you're a genius, right? But the road to get there can be arduous and expensive. And right. I think a lot of people think that I just got to throw money at the wall, which is how I refer to doing ads without a strategy behind it. You don't right. know who your ideal client is. You don't know what your the number one problem is in their head. So you don't know what to say to them that that will resonate. So you got to, you know, keep trying different things, beta, A, B testing, all the things you have to do. If you don't have a good marketing budget to sustain the, you know, for the long haul, you're going to be, you know, continuing to throw stuff, hoping something sticks and that you can start to get traction. And with the joint partners, the joint venture partners, it's a lot, well, cheap, right? It's free. free. It's your time, <laughs> and you already have people that are warm to you because of the introduction. So it seems like a, a really tremendous way to do it. And how would you go about finding the right joint venture partners? What was your recommendation? Yeah, well, the number one thing I would recommend to people is joining a mastermind. Honestly, it's the easiest way to actually get to know somebody because I, I mentioned that guy earlier. Um, I've had many different times where people are like, yeah, come on my show. I'd love to promote you. And they have all these big fluffy numbers of hundreds of thousands or millions. And then I leave there not making a single sale with a pitch that I've put in front of other people and close sales. And I'm like, well, it wasn't me. I know it wasn't my fault that time, you know, <laughs> and and that's one of the most frustrating things about being in business is when you get in front of an audience that doesn't buy your stuff because you put in all the effort, you're really trying to provide a value and you know, nothing happens. And the reason we built, so our mastermind is called the Pantheon, which if you understand our brand, the Lucky Titan, it's basically just a gathering of Titans. Our whole <laughs> point is to get people in the same room who have the same audiences. And that's what people don't look at. They just look at, oh, this person's successful. I want to partner with them. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to go to one of the Kardashians and ask them to promote my business, even though they are like some of the most followed people in the world, because they're most of my peer, most of the people that I would want to buy my product aren't following them, right? They're probably not going to buy from me because they promote makeup or whatever they promote. I don't follow the Kardashians, obviously. <laughs> um, but, but if I go look at somebody like John Lee Dumas of Entrepreneurs on Fire, the people that follow him are my ideal customer. So if I'm wanting to really get my, you know, my products and my services in front of um, the right customers, I'd go to John Lee Dumas and say, okay, can I either get in by, you know, getting to know John or do I need to buy my way in, right? So you either earn your way in or you buy your way in. So you can earn your way in by being a good friend, trying to find ways to help him out, do a lot of free things to where he'll eventually interview you, or you could go and buy some ads on his on his podcast, for example. So there's a lot of different ways to do that, but honestly, it kind of comes down to you either pay your way in or you, you know, you earn your way in. And for <laughs> most people, if you're trying to find the right people, it's a matter of literally going on Instagram and finding where people who are already following you or somebody who you're like, I would love to have this person follow me, go look at who they're following. Who are the people that they actually pay attention to or they interact with? And you'll start to see that it's pretty easy to create those joint venture partnerships. Well, and you've touched on something that I think is really important, which is uh, giving value, right? Offering up something. You know, people forget when they need something from someone else that 
be making yourself valuable, offering up to be of service to someone is the best way to build relationships. 100%. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and to touch on that more, I mean, one of the things that I've more recently understood is that people who are in the, you know, they have less than a million followers, you actually don't really need to just provide value. The relationship is about collaboration. So you come to them and say, how can I help? Or you don't even say, how can I help you collaborate? You bring them a plan that says, this is how we co could collaborate. And here's the results that will come from it. I can tell you right now, if you'll reach out to a hundred people that way, you're going to have at least 90 of them respond to you if they have less than a million followers. I do it every single day. And the reason it works so well is because I come to them, I'm not saying, hey, I have all these followers, or what have you, I just say, hey, I'm looking to do a joint venture promotion about leadership. And I think, you know, Christine, you just wrote a book on leadership and which is super awesome. I'm gonna plug that for you, Christine. The Resilient <laughs> Leader, go read it, yeah. best book ever. So when, you know, I could find people like Christine and say, hey, let's, you know, I, you just wrote a book. I'd love to talk about your book on my show and I'm going to have 15 episodes of my podcast or on my Facebook group or wherever I'm going to do it about leadership. And I'd really like to bring you in and talk about it. And if, if you wouldn't mind, if I bring you in and talk about it, would you promote the show on your social media? And it, you just grow organically that way. And there's huge value in, in just creating those relationships. But the people who are, so those are the people you come with a collaborative opportunity. But people who've surpassed that, I would call them kind of the A-list um, influencer type people. So the Gary Vaynerchuks, the Russell Brunsons, the Kardashians, these people who have more than a million followers are the type of people that you actually have to come to and you have to really earn your way in or buy your way in because they're the ones where you're going to make lots of sales, but it's worth the time to find different ways to provide them value. And it doesn't mean constantly messaging them and saying these different things. It's like go into the group that they have, buy their products, buy their services, get into their private Facebook group and be the most active user on there. It's the easiest way to get in the door with these people because they're like, oh, I see your name 15 times a day. And then when you message them, they're like, oh yeah, I know you, blah, 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 right? And it gets you into a conversation. It's pretty easy to go from there. Yeah, people don't really think about how, yeah, you're not maybe going to offer Gary V some great advice. You know, you might not need... Um, your wisdom for his business empire, but his people will certainly do. So when you go in there and you're uh, engaging with the people, asking questions and chatting and offering up resources to them, you're going to get his attention as a real player because you've got value that you're giving to his audience. Right. 100%. Yeah. So tell us about the Lucky Titan. What's your yeah. thing about that and how did it come to fruition? Yeah, and that's that's a pretty long story, so I'll just abbreviate it. But <laughs> the Lucky Titan is really the fruition of all of my work with, you know, working with a lot of high level people and realizing what the true need is of entrepreneurs in our in our day and age. And so we've built our entire business around helping entrepreneurs create these joint venture partnerships. So we have our mastermind, and now you know all these terms I'm throwing around. So you're like, oh, I actually know what you're talking about. <laughs> but. <laughs> But we have a mastermind that we use. It's a very low cost mastermind, but there is a barrier to entry on it. We make sure that you have at least 2,500 followers across your platforms. If you don't have those followers, we provide resources, free resources, places that you can go and get those first 2,500 in 30 days. And you're getting kind of those, I would say the fluff numbers at first, but you're going to start pulling out those customers who are paying you and you'll start to see a result. But the Lucky Titan in general is just built to help you create those joint venture partnerships. And if anybody wants to check it out, they can just go to the theluckytitan.com. Excuse me. Well, I love it. And, you know, I mean, it really works, right? It's just uh, not that hard because even I've got 2,500 plus followers, you know, I mean, I remember when I crossed that threshold and I was so excited and proud of myself. And I think, well, that's just one step in the rung, right? I want to keep going. And so, you know, that's where I think your expertise and your skill and your um, groups, the masterminds and, and all of your products and services all lend themselves to building up that high quality group of raving fans and so what is your best advice that you would want to impart on our audience and listeners who are really trying to figure out how to do this in a global pandemic, which is our current climate, right? Things are really tight in the world. So what we've experienced, both of us, I think, is people is freezing up. Right. So how do we loosen that up? How do we thaw that climate out for people? 
Well, I think I can do it by just helping you simplify what you, your first steps. I mean, if you're looking to start a business, which a lot of people are right now because of the whole pandemic situation, the number one easiest way to start a business is to not start with the product. Don't try to build a product. Don't say, oh, I'm good at this. Go and find a group of people that you really like to spend time with. So if you're into mountain biking and you love those people, go and get around those people and then start to bring that, find what they're looking for in a free group and then make that free group and start inviting them to it. It's as simple as that. And then you can just ask them what they want and you can find ways to, to sell them products, make them products, whatever you have to do in order to, to actually make a business. That's the fastest way to business. And so the very first thing I'd recommend is just go out and build an audience. But do it organically with people that you genuinely like and want right. to know, right? <laughs> right. But and you need to know that, that you right? like them. Yeah. And you need to Not know that everybody, you like them. <laughs> right. Not everybody's a commodity, you know, and, and I've experienced that as you're talking about it. I'm thinking, yeah, I had this amazing hiking group that helped me turn my first book into a bestseller and support everything I do and have me on their shows and have been my guest. So you have been so awesome. Thank you, everybody, so much for um you know, just hanging in there with us. We've had so much value here. Thank you, Josh, for being with us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on, Christine. Take care. Bye.